Hey everyone, this is just a quick review of the Beauty and the Beast Platinum set from 2016. It's limited edition one of 500 and I've gotten a few requests to show a little bit more about the Platinum set and there's been a lot of excitement about it and we were really excited and we feel very grateful and um, just pretty lucky that we even had the chance to get the Platinum set. So um, I'll just show you a little bit of the details and if you guys have questions you can just let me know. So when you open the Platinum set um, right away you see the details from the top border and the bottom and it follows the same kind of motif that are on the single limited edition Belle and Beast dolls um, that were released the 20th of September that were for the pre-order. So they kind of tie it in together but this one definitely um, looks different. It's, it's pretty separate as far as the, the colors go. Um, with the 17 inch dolls that were separate. They had a white border um, and white box and then um, kind of yellow and I guess kind of like a burgundy motif that were around the, the window of the box, um, the display for the doll and um, they kind of tied that in with this and the doll set is one of those sets that like I, I still when I look at it I can't believe we have it it's just kind of like we saw pictures of it and had really high expectations and um, we also just we were hoping that we would get it but um, you know we just we weren't entirely sure so seeing it and having it in our collection it's kind of like I look at it and I think like, I, I can't even believe we have this right now <laughs> so it's, it's still really exciting and um, with the platinum sets they're obviously really hard to get because they're super limited and we don't have one aside from this one. So this was the first time we were able to, to get one and I'm so happy that we got this one here. So um, just to show you also the back of the box, it's very similar to another 17 inch limited edition doll where it does have the description on the back. So you can see on the back, it has the description of Beauty and the Beast and um, it just talks a little bit about the Disney store and releasing this limited edition doll set and it just kind of talks about the scene in which the dolls are inspired which is the ballroom scene of the movie um, it's very iconic and what I love about the packaging on the back is that they decided to do a version of the stained glass window from the original opening of the movie and they just did it within the same uh, pale yellow color so it carries throughout and um, you know when I first saw the box I wasn't in love with it uh, but I had seen it in the pictures and that they were very low quality but seeing it in person it's so much better than it is in the pictures because you couldn't really see what the design was and uh, when you actually get up close to the box, there's um, little rose detailing on the back. There has this, there's the stained glass, and it definitely, um, in person, it, it looks much better than it does in the the quality of the photos. So, also, when you get platinum set, the authenticity cards that you get are for each doll. So you get two. You get one for Belle, one for Beast. And then we received numbers 167 out of 500, so they're the same number. <clears throat> Another useful kind of thing about the Platinum sets that I wasn't aware of that it makes it easier to display is that when you open the cover, you actually can fold it behind the box. So this way, if you do want to set it uh, next to other dolls in your collection, you can put the cover completely behind. Um, and then the way the front cover comes off is very similar to 
uh, the regular limited edition 17 inch dolls where the top portion slides off which I can attempt to show you guys <clears throat> So if you already have 17 inch limited edition dolls, you know that the um, front cover, like the one I just took off, that comes off and then you can also take off the, the plastic window that protects the dolls from dust. And with this one, it's the same way. Um, you would just take the box, tip it over, and you can slide the plastic right off. So, and then again, just like the regular single 17 inch dolls, um, you can also then take the portion that the dolls are standing inside and tied onto. You can also remove them from the, the back of the box and you still can actually leave them completely tied in and you don't have to actually remove them. So it's great if you ever want to take them out and take a quick look at them. So now I'm just going to show you guys all the details that I'm sure you guys are interested and excited to see. Also underneath, um, it is tacked down the, uh, the two layers, oh, I guess three layers, actually I didn't notice. There's three layers here, so we've got that outer layer with the ruching that creates that full, um, kind of like that full volume skirt on the outer part of the dress. And then underneath, you've got um, kind of like a gold satin lining. And then under that, you kind of have like a tool portion lined with a lace trimming and then I'll try to get in there so you guys can see the shoes but uh, what's different about the platinum shoes are that they're more detailed than a regular I don't know if you guys can see them regular doll shoes which is great because it kind of it gives again that kind of limited and very highly detailed um, look to the dolls. So this one's really cool because it kind of gives a play up um, of a design quality to it where it's not directly from the movie but you get something a little bit different. I love that they decided to actually make a furry uh, tail for the beast. That was one thing that I guess I hadn't thought about the tail of the doll, and I don't, um, I didn't see on the single edition either if um, the, they made the tail the same because I, I actually didn't even notice. But when I opened this one, I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> that's cool. They added a little bit of fur. I know that some people had. Um, Kind of wanted the beast rather than to be a plastic sculpted mold they had wanted actual some sort of fur or lining or uh, not lining but um some sort of like uh, fuzzy material but i honestly feel like that's been done in the past and 
Disney, although they had the right idea, I don't think they did it well. So I think it was a safe and smart move for them to do it this way to get an accurate um, face mold and depiction of the beast. And also I feel like it probably, for the dollar amount, I don't think that it would have been spot on enough for people to spend that much money. That's just my personal opinion. So I, I personally like the sculpted mold of the beast. And then when you look at his clothes, you've got underneath, um, there's another layer and he's got separate um, pants. So with this one, he has a um, kind of like a, a single breasted, I guess, vest with some embroidery around the trim and the um, hemline of the, um, of the vest. And then within his coat, it is layered um, and lined. So it's a really thick material. Um, the embroidery that's on this is very very thick and it's not stenciled on or anything like that and then within his coat it's like a it's a velvety kind of I guess it's like a, a velvet material um, it feels very very nice but very high quality it doesn't feel like they skipped out on any of the fabrics or any of the the detailing at all and within his um, sleeves he has this lace detail that's peeking out underneath the cuff of the jacket and then you can see on Belle she has beautiful hair up to I love the face mold of this Belle I love the, the makeup and I love the way that they styled her hair it's not too long it just goes right around her elbow and the the gloves are um, I don't know what material this is but it's uh, very stretchy so that way when you are moving and articulating the wrist the fabric does move and it doesn't kind of bunch up or anything so it looks really um, fitted to the arm which is really great and then there's for her top there's two panels so there's a bodice and then there is a plastic molded rose motif that goes along the top of the shoulder and with this one it does have the jewels that are kind of signature to the limited edition dolls put in inside the motif that's wrapped around her shoulders and then I don't debox dolls and I would never debox something like this so can't really tell you what it looks like in the back or what the co or the the clothing looks like in the back, but I'm sure it's probably similar to what the other dresses look like within the limited edition line. And then lined around, there's this kind of ribbon detail that I'm assuming the reason they did that was to kind of give that uh, full effect to it without going overboard and putting so much fabric on the dress. I love that when they that the, they molded the uh, or the face mold that they chose, they made sure to leave her mouth just a little bit open so you can see her teeth, which in the regular dolls, I've noticed that the paint job when they do something like that, it's not the best. So I love that here they were able to do that and also um, show her her teeth, so it actually does look like a real kind of like a real smile and it doesn't look so much like an empty, an empty mouth, which is really cool. And then I love the shape of her eyebrows and she has kind of like a gold eyeshadow and her greenish, I guess kind of like hazel eyes. Very little makeup on the cheeks, just a little bit, a touch of blush, so it adds a little bit of color. And then she does have a, oh, sorry, out of focus. But she does have a, um, a gem in her ear as an earring and then together they're holding hands they have them tied together so it doesn't um, come out of place so that way the the platinum set kind of stays within that moment of the movie 
All right, thanks for watching, guys.